Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, of course, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. Guys, what the heck is going on between Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt from the tussle of the vineyard sale, selling the vineyard to Brad Pitt's enemies? And now Angelina is coming back. She's saying that um, Brad Pitt did abuse her before the 2016 plane incident. And this is a report that has um, came out two to three days ago. It has been really getting a lot of attention and a lot of people on social media are chiming in. Many people are saying that they believe Angelina Jolie at this time because um, she has been pushing this. Her story has never changed. And based on how Brad has been with the kids, Maddox, specifically, they believe that he's in fact an aggressor. So let's talk about the report, right? So we can chime into all of this. And I think that some of us are somewhat familiar with this incident. And I know some of you guys might be saying, I thought this was over. Honey, me too. Me too, but evidently not. So let's get into it. Now, what they're saying is that Angelina Jolie has claimed that the infamous 2016 plane incident isn't the only time that her ex-husband, Brad Pitt, allegedly abused her. Per docs obtained by We Know Page 6, the Bible, of course, on Thursday, Jolie's legal team made this allegation in an attempt to prove that Brad um, Pitt refused to allow his ex-wife to sell her portion of their Chateau um, Miraval French winery unless she signed an expansive NDA. So this is the same vineyard that I was talking about that she wants to sell to. I believe they said that the company that she wants to sell it to is um, Brad Pitt's main competitor, right? And as such, there's some roof there and they believe that Angelina wants to sell it to his main competitor um, just to get on Brad's skin. But hey, what if it's the case that the main competitor is the one offering her top dollars? Why not think about it that way? You know, not everything is about getting under someone's skin. Sometimes it's about getting that good money, right? But let's continue. Now, they're saying that while Pitt's history of physical abuse of Jolie started well before the family's September 2016 plane trip from France to Los Angeles, this flight marked the first time he turned his physical abuse on the children as well. Jolie then immediately left him, her team said in the docs. Do you guys remember it said that he basically, um, there was some disagreement and he basically punched her as well. And she was seen like with bruises. She, were, she was wearing shades. But when she went out in the public, you know, right beneath her eye, they could see that there were bru bruises. So as much as Angelina tried to conceal the abuse, many people could see signs of it publicly. Now, let's continue. But I thought this girl was at least bad ass to some level but i mean a man's strength over a woman is definitely sometimes very hard to challenge you know or to even defend yourself properly but let's continue they're saying pitt 60 and jolie 48 first met in two in 2004 when they were filming mr and mrs smith and life turned out to be almost exactly like that <laughs> And uh, Pitt was still married to Jennifer Aniston, 55. And this is when people say that Jennifer got her revenge um, eventually through karma. Because Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, they were at the Oscars laughing after Jennifer Aniston. Do y'all remember that? No, um, that's really basically it, you know. A lot is coming on. I mean, the plane fight was very ugly. Like, um, if you remember, I think she said that Brad Pitt 
pit punched the ceiling of the plane after telling her she's effing up the family and the kids were asking if they were okay and then brad took out his anger on the kids she then spoke about another incident where brad pitt basically pinned maddox down to the floor and there was a tussle it was a lot it was a lot and when the story broke like many people could not believe that is what was going on in their household but i mean they're all humans at the end of the day they may have a lot of money but sometimes with a lot of money comes a lot of challenges and a lot of problems but guys that's all i have to share about that let me know your thoughts while you're at it give this video a big thumbs up share if you care stay safe stay blessed and see you guys later peace